Do you know one of the boring jobs in the world is a CCTV control room operator, which needs to sit in front of the many screens and observe different types of events. And to my surprise, recently in our new apartment, they decided to cut this role. And there was another company where they also decided to cut control room operators. So I took this hackathon as an opportunity to develop Llama CCTV operator. Uh, the goal was to understand if Llama, without fine tuning, only with uh, textual descriptions, can, be, can act like Llama CCTV operator. So hopefully it runs. Let me get started. So it starts uh, with basic setup. We can select model, base URL. It can be Grog, Samba Nova, or any other. So it's simple setup. Then um, in a production, we can set up preview URL, RTSP URL, chunk durations, and uh, the uh, folder where we would like to save the files. Then uh, this is the coolest part, I would say. We can provide some context about the video, which can be provided purely from the language. And then we can also provide events, which we'd like to detect, codes, description, and some guidelines how this event can be detected. So this is really, really easy to use for non-technical person. So let me start monitoring. So uh, as a demo, uh, I had a video from a uh, manufacturing facility, which I, I wanted to present because I didn't have any CCTV videos because of the privacy reasons. And uh, once we start analyzing it, uh, please give me a moment. So the detected events start appearing here. It might take a while because, ah, okay. So the first event was detected. So as you can see, uh, the event was detected as the robot idle. And basically it provides a description and at the same time uh, explanations why this event was detected comes from the LAMA model. So uh, there's a still some problems here, such as latency, context length, uh, but I think this can be resolved in the future. And specifically, latency can be resolved with uh, using uh, like bet, uh, lower latency providers as well. So if we go here, again, we can see if that event is actually true and analyze it. Yeah, okay, now uh, robot in error attack was also detected. So as you can see, the error uh, state was also detected. So uh, the purpose for this project during this hackathon for me was to analyze if Lama models out of the box without fine tuning and with only textual descriptions can act as uh, CCTV control room operators and detect events uh, that we describe with our uh, language. How are you actually doing the uh, streaming to the model? Are you taking screenshot or frames and sending them over at a particular cadence? How are you doing it? So uh, in a production, they use something called RTSP URL. I simulated RTSP URL and uh, I take five seconds of the buffer, but uh, you also need to be cautious if it's frame per second corresponds to some low level events so we can miss it. So to deal with that, I just took every second and within every second, I randomly select one image. So in total for five seconds, I have five frames and I provide this uh, to the Llama model. Uh, while testing, I could provide up to nine seconds of the video. Beyond that, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't fit into the 128K context length. This is great. How are you, how are you running evals on this at all, if, if at all? Um, I, I will be honest, I didn't have time to run the evals, but I think the, the, the most obvious way will be here. Once we have here events, we can basically uh, put human in the loop and correct those events and uh, build a, some kind of data set and then do the evaluation on a regular base. In your mind, what is the difference between this and what this would look like as a product? Yeah, in, in, a, in a product, uh, you would like to have some kind of certainty. For example, you, you would like to have some accuracy. For In manufacturing scenarios, they would like to have something called Six Sigma. So you need to make sure that your model's accurate up to 99.999% of time. But let's say if we talk like CCTV security time, so there will be false positives, but it will also give like a little bit of uh, freedom to the control room operators, at least to post analyze if they missed the events or not missed them. You said uh, the 128 context, K context lens is the limitation. Uh, using that limitation, is there any way that you could increase the like nine second span uh, for this? Yeah. Uh, 
the obvious approach which comes to my mind is uh, using sliding window of, uh, of the five seconds of the video, but uh, I couldn't verify this during two days. It's something on my mind 